it was, it was, we were talking about clothes, so that felt like that was an appropriate segue. You were saying. <laughs> you, you, so you're, you have your hands on in terms of what she wears. Yeah, and, and also uh, in terms of the hair to a degree, I mean, it came, it, it came it. <laughs> the wig. Cousin, it's okay. cousin, it. It's okay. I know, isn't it? It, it? It's a lot redder this season than it than it was last season. And um, I, I I don't know if I'm giving anything away, but the the wig has its own series on Amazon coming up next week. <laughs> Six episodes. Stay tuned. So I, I don't want to get a, ahead of ourselves here, but I want to let's jump to the cliffhanger or the finale of this coming season. Do, does it end on a cliffhanger again? Is, is, are, you gonna, are we going to be on the edge of our seat once again wondering what, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Chris. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet. We're, we're shooting uh, the fifth episode right now. Uh, we have the sixth episode, which is uh, Skin Marinky Dinky Do right here. <laughs> and uh, so we haven't seen 7, 8, 9, 10, and uh, I don't know what the arc is. And Do you know? No, we don't know what the arc is, so uh, it's up to Chris there. Well, it's ending on a cliffhanger, I hear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> some, some news for both of you. What's, what about you're cliffhanger? Not gonna, you're not going to get any closure. It's going to end on a cliffhanger. What is, what's your well, reaction? Well, knowing the way Chris likes to name characters, I'm surprised he hasn't had a character named Cliff Hanger. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Cliff. Hanger. Cliff Hanger. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hanger. Agent Hanger. Special Agent Cliff Hanger. So, Jillian, David, Mitch, are you, are, are you okay with the idea that you might be here on this stage every two years for the rest of your life? I, I'd be okay with that. I'd be, would you guys be okay with that? Because I don't, I mean, Chris, you, you told me backstage you don't really see an end to this. No, I, I said there's a lot of life left in this show, you know. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I your birthday's coming up. Yeah, 10-13. Right, 10-13. Once uh, we were doing a convention and we had uh, we had them sing to you. Remember that? We sent you that. Yeah. Was it here? Uh, is it Friday the thirteenth? All the stars are aligning. I think we're going to take some audience questions, right? I think we're going to line up on both sides and we're going to go one at a time, back and forth. Make make them good. Which way are we starting? Okay, start over here, this side. Uh, hi, I'm Jonah from Suffering, New, New York. Hello. Um, and I was just wondering whether it's yeah, writing it. or acting in it, do you prefer the episodes that deal with the overall mythology of the show or the individual, uh, the individual episodic um, um, installments? So this is for, for the actors. Cass, Julian. Do you have a preference? It's really, a, it's really an episode by episode kind of a thing. I don't know, I don't know where you are. She's right over here. <laughs> right there. A lot of people are raising their hands right now. <laughs> I only heard one voice, but I see a lot of hands. Well, anyway, I'm looking at your general director. Oh, it's you. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> this, is, this is a different situation. I don't know what I want to say <laughs> anymore. 
You're from Suffern, New York? Yes. O okay. Uh, it really depends on the episode itself, whether, you know, it's something that uh, I can dig into or not. It could be, it could be a backstory type, myth type mythology thing, or sometimes the Monster of the Week episodes can resonate with a character in an interesting way. It's, I, I wouldn't say that I have any preference just per se. Jillian? I, I think I enjoy the comedic episodes because I don't get to be funny very much in my life. <laughs> or at least most of the characters that I play are, are either suicidal or somebody's boss. Or <laughs> somebody's boss who commits suicide. <laughs> so, so those are fun. What's your preference? What do you like? I got to go with the monster of the week ones. <laughs> Mitch, what about you? Uh, you know, I, I, I like them all. I like them all. I like, I, I, I'm entertained by both the monster and by the, by the mythology and the standalone episodes. Um, yeah. Have you read the script for the Skinner I have. Yet? I have. Twice. How excited? Oh, twice. <laughs> How excited are you to start? Twice. I read it one? twice, Chris. <laughs> How excited are you to start shooting that one? I'm very excited. Uh, Gabe Rotter, a uh, longtime associate of Chris, wrote it. And, um, and he did a great job with it. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy uh, that, uh, that you're all, you're all going to be finding out a little bit more about uh, Wally. Anything really surprised you about his backstory? <sighs> no, I don't, I, th I don't think so. I think I, I think I envisioned a lot of this stuff. It's funny, a lot of the stuff that they wrote, I, um, I, I think I had, I had built in my own mind as his, as his backstory, so I think it, a lot of it is there. And, and a lot of it, uh, Chris had spoken to uh, in earlier episodes of the, the original run of the show uh, about uh, Skinner's, Skinner's past uh, a little bit, touched on it. This goes into it uh, fairly a bit more deep, deeply. We get to see young Wally. You get to see young Walter Skinner. Does he look more He's like still Mulder bald. or Scully? <laughs> All right, next question over here. Hello, my name is Dita. Melanie. And Karen. Are you guys going to sing? No. We, we are from the Mitch's Pledges because we pledge our allegiance to Mitch Pledgey. <laughs> God bless so, you. Thank you. <laughs> our question is, we know the X-Files season 11 is such a highly anticipated event, and the fans are dying to know what's going on. And we know you can't really say anything much more than what you have already said, so our question is for everyone, if you were to spread some fake news about season 11, what would you say? <laughs> That's a good one. What's not happening in season Bing, 11? Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing. <laughs> That's what I'd say. David? What, <laughs> what's not happening in season 11? Uh, Skinner in a bubble bath. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what? Tell what do you want? What do you want me to say? <laughs> tell me what to say. You always tell me what to do. Tell me what to say. Whoa, Any whoa, fake whoa. news that the fandom will believe. What's, What's going that? on between you two? Any, any fake news that the fandom will believe? I don't believe anything we say. <laughs> Skinner and Scully go to second base. Yeah, I don't think so. There you go. I just gave you something. <laughs> Next question. Wow. Hi. Um, my question's for Chris Carter. Uh, hello, hi everybody. Um, you said before that you had a dust drawer full of lost episodes when the series ended. Are these episodes new ones that you've created, or are they the old ones from the desk drawer. Good question. Uh, these are all brand new episodes, so no nothing pulled from the uh, round file, as it were. Will we ever see those or hear about those? Pardon? Lo will we ever hear about the lost episodes? Or what that was going to be? Well, there's that one that you wrote about that bankrupt real estate guy who becomes president <laughs> of the United States. <laughs> 